Hey guys, Value for Viral, welcome back to my truth channel. So let's continue from where we ended. This is the part two of TikTokers who sold their souls for fame. Oh, hey, Grayson. You know, TikTok is a platform where anybody, like literally anybody, can just become famous. But still, a bunch of crazy kids suffering from low self esteem have just been doing some pretty satanic stuff with all these cosplays and all this luciferianism and a bunch of other stuff so nicole megan which is a tiktoker in fact she was there like ever since the whole stuff you know back in 2016 where the platform was still called musically nicole megan was asked by her fans how she managed to get her tiktok verified here is what she said so yes i did sell my soul to satan to become verified on tiktok i did this a few months back and then i got verified two days later but i'll tell you a little bit about the ritual it was a really simple ritual actually the first thing i had to do was slit a goat's throat and get the blood out i had to make sure the blood was warm then i smeared the blood all over my body and then i took my quill and dipped them into the goat and make sure i got it all saturated i did a little chant after that and after that satan himself popped up right in front of me he held the scroll and opened it and then he said nikki nightmare i will grant you with fame and fortune and a tiktok verification if i get to keep your soul for eternity and then he magically made a table pop up out of nowhere. He put the scroll down on the table and said, sign. So I signed. And now I have over 300,000 followers on TikTok. I couldn't do it without Satan. Hail Satan. Yeah, you get me clearly. She said she sold her soul to the devil. She summoned Satan. And she sold her soul for fame. And that's how she blew up to 300,000 subscribers. 300,000 followers. And that's how she got a TikTok verified. You know, people were still doubting her, but she repeated it again. Just listen to what she said. This is the last time I'm going to say this because I've said it many times. I sold my soul to the devil so I could get verified on TikTok. Duh. A lot of people have done it. And if you go on her page, she said that she sold her soul to the devil. She says she's 19,000 years, which is she's actually 19 years. She's a teenager. The only thing I can see from this kid is that she's just suffering from low self-esteem. You know, passing through depression, let's say she has been bullied in the past, and that's why she's just doing all this stuff. I feel bad about it, you know, just seeing how kids nowadays are being brainwashed by the media, by the news, by TV, music videos. They think that the price in life, the goal in life is to become famous, which is completely wrong. She's a ballet dancer she has some skills which she can improve on it and you know do some like get a career like get a life but being famous on tiktok is not worth it and worshiping the devil for just <laughs> typically no reason it's not worth it what makes me really sad about it is her passion if you go through her profile she has so much passion for the devil if you're christian and if you serve god in spirit and in truth there's this passion, let's say you yearn for something, you really love doing something, like you feel passion, you're all into it. She has developed a passion for the devil and all her stuff are pretty satanic. If you just look at her profile, you just know directly that she's a girl passing through low self-esteem. She has no faith in herself. She doesn't even believe in herself. As you can see, she's always trying to show her body, you know. People are always trying to show off their body, you know, the curves, boobs, or whatever are people that are actually suffering through low self-esteem they don't have faith in themselves they think that the only thing they can give to the world is what they have which is pretty sick <laughs> yeah like that's pretty much it she has no talent apart from her ballet <laughs> she has no talent apart from her ballerine skills and that's it apart from that she's just a girl who just managed to summon satan by some mistake and sold her soul to the devil as she claims she did but i would like to know your thoughts in the comment section do you really think she sold her soul to the devil or she's or is just a satanist who managed to blow up make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section and for my own analysis with the whole tiktok stuff i think it's very 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 bad because tiktok is really pushing young kids into a lot of stuff they're always trying to do these trends, always trying to make sure that they follow the train, always trying to make sure that they do all these challenges which are online. 
and that's insanity and she said something that was very very bad she said she said baphomet is a cute sweetie yeah like she also said baphomet is not satan i know that baphomet and satan are two different guys okay they're two different people but they're all bodies so satan is a different demon and baphomet is someone that is in charge of fame money and, and whatever she said baphomet is a sweet cutie that's completely wrong some time ago i guess i had a revelation or a vision about baphomet yeah i saw the baphomet yeah and believe me that photo of baphomet that you guys are seeing around that's not a real baphomet that photo has been photoshopped like 10,000 times baphomet is a very ugly satanic demon from the pit of hell very black and dark you like you really seen the darkness in his face yeah like that's the truth about it as you grow spiritually in the lord just pray to god to open your spiritual eyes and see sending this stuff that demon is a very 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 dangerous demon you don't want to mess with that demon for any single reason even it's just even it's for free don't even mess with that demon in the first place because you know when you see something in a vision and you see it like you feel the anger like i feel the anger and rage that that demon has towards human beings especially me in particular because i kind of like feel like he knows that i'm exposing the secret and ever since the day i saw that demon in my vision like my instagram page when is zero they censored my page on instagram in fact you go my instagram right now i guess like only like 100 people can actually view any of my stuff i had like there were times on my instagram where i had like 25,000 impressions you know people saw my stuff more like more people saw my stuff but nowadays now they have complete sense of my instagram i'm having like 50 views imagine i have like 3,000 followers on instagram and i'm having 50 views that's it but i don't really care about it you know like i told you guys before i've never cared about online fame youtube whatever i only care about like your heart so i want you guys to know the, the truth and change your your heart jesus christ is our savior and when the time for judgment comes he will appear and take only the saints those who trust in the lord in spirit and in truth the bible says in john 4 verse 24 that god is spirit and whoever serve him must serve him in spirit and in truth so make sure you serve god in spirit and in truth or else you will still not rapture like you will die and you still go to hellfire even though you're a christian yeah so guys baphomet yeah it's real baphomet is real yeah it's a demon from the pit of hell i can't even guess why he came around my area but i saw the baphomet you know i saw the baphomet and it's a very angry demon moving around the world stealing people's soul giving them stuff they don't even a lot of people have sold their souls they don't even know that they have sold their souls it's bad it's so it's like it's so bad because in fact i'll do a video on it i'll do a separate video on it on how people sell their souls without even knowing that they have sold their souls but for this kid this little girl on tiktok showing herself for likes or free likes and free follows i think it's just a crazy satanist that managed to blow up on tiktok and she's deceiving people that she sold her so yeah to an extent she sold her soul by committing her life her time to serve the devil in some aspects she has sold her soul so that's pretty much it but guys don't forget be very very careful with your life right now and try to focus on the holy spirit focus on god focus on what he has in store for us because the world is going to end very soon we have to be very careful with the way we live our life so thank you guys for watching make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also please check out our facebook platform because right now they have censored our instagram so most of my stuff i, I guess i'll be posting on facebook while i'm trying to check on how to manage my website and some other stuff thank you guys for watching bye <laughs>